It has been a long day on the Atlas Zero, but Franklin finally started to slow down for the day, as Thomas and Gordon were finishing up the floor for the day. Their morning had been very rough, but the engines managed to pull through for the day. Thomas had arrived from Napa Station very concerned. Hello, Duck, said Thomas. How are things been going with Henry? He asked. Duck didn't reply. He knew that Thomas had the answer to this question already. Meanwhile, Gordon was puffing towards the station very slowly. He had not been to the works for a long time, because he had been super busy with his express run slide. What took you so long? asked Thomas. Gordon replied very sternly. This wasn't my fault. I haven't been at the works for ages. I've told the Tom that I need another engine to help me when I'm in these situations, but he's never gotten me an engine yet. Duck heard this conversation and was pretty confused, but before he could reply, Gordon was already leaving the station towards the sheds to rest up. Soon enough, Duck got to getting the coaches into the sightings. While Duck was taking the coaches away to the sightings, Harvey was having trouble moving Henry back on the rails. Harvey heaved and hauled his very hardest, but he was just not strong enough to move Henry all the way back on the rails again. Henry was very patient and was very supportive with Harvey. You're a really useful engine, he said at one point. James, however, thought otherwise. He was losing his patience, waiting for Harvey to help him. Meanwhile, Duck was shunting the coaches into the sidings. Go ahead and help James, Duck said. Two engines are supposed to be helping Henry. Harvey took no time in getting out of the way for these other two engines to help Henry, as he quickly went off to get James. Meanwhile, Duck was moving the coaches out of the way for these two engines as well. Harvey wasted no time to get to James and help him back on the rails. Don't worry, James, said Harvey. We'll soon have you back on the rails in no time. But James wasn't listening. He was having an argument with Duck about his complaining about being off the rails. Duck had had enough and decided to push the coaches further into the yards. Meanwhile, Thomas and Henry were talking about who these two engines were. Henry was certain about who they were, and he was right. Along came Donald and Douglas, puffing down the line. Soon the two twin engines were coupled up to Henry. Don't worry yourself, Henry, said Douglas. We'll soon have you back on the rails again. Henry was very pleased to see the twins. He had not seen them for a very long while. It took a while to get Henry's wheels back on the rails, but soon enough, the two Scottish twins managed to haul him back on the rails again. Thank you very much, said Henry. Thomas was very pleased to see Henry back on the rails again. It's good to have you back on the rails again, Henry, said Thomas. But James was even more cross than he was already. How come I have to wait for Harvey to move these trucks out of the way, yet Henry gets pulled back on the rails just now? He asked. Because he doesn't complain as much as you, and he's kinder than you, said Harvey. Not to mention he's stronger than you, said Donald. And he's not in the same situation that you are. Before James could get another word in, the two twins decided to take Henry to the works. Soon Henry was off to the works to get repaired. Soon, Thomas had grown bored, so he decided to talk to Duck about something he had had on his mind for a while. Hey, Duck, have you been wondering what you're going to be doing for this year's Christmas? He asked. No, I haven't, Duck replied. Maybe I should do something for this year. But before the conversation could go any further, Diesel arrived. 
Hey, you little pannier tank. These are applied. What is this on my line? These are the express coaches from Gordon, Duck replied. He didn't eye a diesel's train. He had lobster, a broken down car, a tar wagon, and a fuel wagon. The last car caught off the wagon host. As they knew that they had two other fuel wagons in the sidings. However, Diesel explained that those fuel wagons were meant for the road vehicles and not for Diesel like him. He then eyed around and saw James off the rails. He thought it rather funny that James was not seeing anything funny about being off the rails where he was. Soon, Duck decided to agree to take his mother so Diesel could be Diesel was still on the biggest things in the way. Come on, he said. This is taking forever. It took a while, but Harvey soon managed to get James back on the rails again. Harvey thought that James was going to thank him for helping him, but he didn't even say a word to Harvey. My paintwork is all in scratches, he said. And with that, James rushed off to the works to get repainted. James puffed off for the works as fast as he can. Meanwhile, Murak was just coming with a very heavy goods train. He soon came to a slow stop at the station. When he came to a stop, he was in a bad mood. Where is the shunter? He said very sternly. He should be here any time soon, Thomas said, very determined. And soon enough, Philip arrived. Hello, Murdoch, Philip said. How has your day been? Difficult. I've been working all day to get Christmas stuff, he replied. And with that, Murdoch had to rush off to get more work done for the night. Hello, Philip, Thomas said. It's nice to see that you're back in working order. Same here, replied Philip, although I wish that I could have gotten out of the work sooner. Don't worry, Philip, Thomas said. I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to get ready for Christmas. Suddenly, Toby arrived at the station with his fateful coach, Henrietta. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Philip, Toby said. I'm going to the work so I can get ready for Christmas Day. Thomas was surprised to hear this news. He didn't know about Toby's trip to the works at all. I hope I can make it before Christmas, Toby said. Don't worry about it, Philip said. I'm sure you can make it here before Christmas. Toby felt better about what Philip said, and with that, Toby went off to the work, not having a moment to lose before Christmas came. Soon, Thomas had gone tired and decided to head home for the night to rest up. Christmas was around the corner and he had to get ready for the big day.